Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to go through my empties with you. I realize it's been a while since I've recorded an empties video. I can't believe I have this much stuff. I usually keep a little bag like this. This is my little Sephora tote bag and it <laughs> got some beauty products on it. But I keep this hanging on the doorknob in my bathroom. It's close enough that I can just drop things in there and that's where I keep my stash until I'm ready to do an empties. So these are the things I've gone through since my last one. If you're curious about my empties videos, I do have a whole empties playlist. I will link it for you here. Thank you for watching and thank you for being subscribed. So the first thing I wanted to share with you, there's a lot of them to get them out of the way. There are six empty soap boxes from my favorite soap maker, Holly from Missouri River Soaps. I have been addicted to these since I started watching her soap making videos last, I think it was April or May 2020. Loved it. They really helped calm me down. That's what I'd watch before bedtime. And then I was like, I want some soaps. And so I started buying them and I think I purchased from every single release she's had ever since I discovered her. So we love these. We go through probably um, I don't know, one a month. So it looks like between the ones from my kids shower and from my shower, it's probably been maybe two and a half, three months since I've done an empties video, but I love these soaps. If you're curious, I will leave her YouTube page linked down below. Another body product that I have finished is this lotion from Dr. Jart. This is a ceramide and body lotion. I like that it doesn't have a scent. I like that it's lightweight. I don't know if there's any left in here. <laughs> Now there isn't. Okay, there isn't. It's you'll have to believe me. It's lightweight, it's hydrating, but it's never greasy. That's what I like about it. What I don't like is the price. I got this in a set at the holidays and it was actually a really great set. So if you ever see this in a Dr. Jart set where it's less expensive, I definitely think it's worth it, but I don't know that I would pay the 30 plus dollars. Is it almost $40 for this? It's kind of expensive and you are getting 6.75 ounces. Let me talk about the stuff that I have finished up for hair. These are not new. I love the Cantu Moisturizing Curl Activating Cream. I don't know how many bottles of this I go through. I feel like every time I do an empties, there's one of these in there. It's really inexpensive. I can get it for less than $8 at Sally's Beauty. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it at Walgreens. A little more expensive those places, but it's super, super great. Hydrating, doesn't have any silicones, doesn't have any of the things that are bad if you're doing the curly girl method. I love this. It keeps my frizz at bay. And it once it, my hair is completely dry, I can like scrunch it and break the curl cast from it. But if you don't do that, it does look a lot more defined. I love this. Another thing that I have finished, this is the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. I've gone through a couple of bottles of this. I don't actually get it where they sell Aunt Jackie's. I get it at Marshall's and it's really not expensive at all. It's $8 and I'm getting 16 ounces. It's hydrating. It's safe for curly girl method hair styling. I do like both of these products. This is one that I buy regularly. This is one that I get when I can find it at Marshall's because I don't know that I want to pay what this normally is worth, but it's a nice leave-in conditioner. This is from Bliss Kiss. This is their Simply Pure Hydrating Oil. I love this four ounce bottle. It's great for hydrating your hands, hydrating your feet, hydrating your nails. I normally put this into a little dispensable um, cuticle oil pen so I can just wipe it on my cuticles. Oh, they're a little dry right now. I haven't done it in a while because I'm out, but I need to get some more. Another thing that I really love is the Bliss Kiss Lotion Stick. This is the mini size. This is the one that I send with my daughter to school in her backpack, one that I keep in my purse. You can go through it pretty quickly. I love their full size lotion sticks and I've had those in my empties in the past, but these guys are great just to stash in little places. I have one at the computer where I edit. So if I feel like I'm, oh, am I about to get like a little hangnail? I'll put some on there and moisturize. Um, sometimes uh, the tops of my hands will be like really dry in the winter time. I'll rub a little bit of this in there and it makes a huge difference. I love the lotion stick from Bliss Kiss. Facial cleansers. This is my husband's favorite, the one from Murad for the acne control. Um, he used all of this and this is the only one he likes. So I have to buy him another one. He has a travel size that he's using right now, but he's going to go through that pretty quick, but I'm glad we finished up this. I also finished up another matcha hemp hydrating cleanser from Crave. I do love Crave products. Um, and this is a product that I will definitely repurchase the next time I make an order from Crave. Something else that I finished from Crave is this. This is, makes me so sad. This is their Beat Shield SPF 50 but not really. <laughs> so I think it was last fall when there was kind of news that 
Korean SPFs weren't always what they were saying on the outside of the bottle. This is labeled as SPF 50, but independent testing from different labs were showing that maybe they were more like SPF 12 or SPF 19 or SPF 22. And that's a problem that a lot of them were having. And this turned out to be another one where they didn't tell us what the actual SPF was. The minute I heard that Crave was having a problem with their SPF, I quit using it as coverage on my face. I would use it as a hydrator. I would use it on the backs of my hands because I did go through and I finally finished the whole thing. The thing that makes me sad is this is my favorite there's really nothing left in here. My favorite formula for, it's it's not too thick, it's not too oily, it's not greasy, it absorbs well into the skin, super hydrating, but I want my SPF to be the SPF you mark on the outside. The one thing I'll tell you is most Korean brands that were having problems with their SPF didn't know that their SPFs were not what they said on the outside of the bottle. I don't think anybody was being malicious. I think it was a discovery that they made. They immediately pulled them from the shelves for sale and they have been reformulating. I know Crave is working on reformulating an SPF, but I really hope they come back with a better version of this because I love the way it felt on my skin. My skin has never been happier than with using this as sunscreen and moisturizer, but I really want something that's gonna be SPF 50. So I did finish using it. Um, and the other thing that was great is I did get a refund for the purchase that I made. I made this back in late 2020 and I did get the refund for the price of this because it wasn't what they said it was going to be. And I appreciate how transparent they were in the problem. And I can't wait to try their new SPF when they finally get it perfectly formulated. Another SPF I finished is this little mini size of the Super Goop Glow Screen. This is an SPF 40. Um, this is a half an ounce. I got this in a... Uh, Sephora favorites. It was kind of like a bunch of little trial size things. I really like this enough that I got the full size. Here's the box for the full size. I know that when I like something enough, I do want an SPF 50, but it comes down to the best SPF is the one you'll wear. And the ones that I have that are SPF 50, SPF 60 right now, I'm trying two others. I don't love them. I do really like this and it plays well under makeup. So I was willing to repurchase a full size bottle. Other things that came in that uh, Sephora favorites kit. This is the papaya sorbet enzyme cleansing balm from Glow Recipe. This is a really nice product. I use the whole thing. Sadly, it's rather expensive. I don't want to pay as much as this product costs for a cleansing balm. I would be willing to pay for it if it was skincare, but since this is something I put on my face, melt my makeup off with, and it goes straight down the drain, if it stayed on my face longer, I might be willing to but it's a great product, worked beautifully. It's just too expensive for me to buy the full size. Product that I could not stand at all was this little guy here from Milk. This is the Vegan Milk Moisturizer. I didn't even, oh, I did finish it. I was like, I didn't even finish it. I think I ended up finishing this on like hands and legs and stuff because I, every time I put it on my skin, it just pilled up. It was too heavy. I first thought I was using too much, so I used less, and there was no amount of less that I could use where my skin was hydrated and then putting something else on top where it didn't just get all gross. Don't like this, don't recommend. Something I could not finish, Ugh. I've had it for a while and I finally said, let's just get rid of it, is this from Glow Recipe. This is their Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. I know so many people like this. I think it's a good product, except the scent is just so off-putting to me. It smells like dog pee. <laughs> And I know some people think it smells like pineapple, but it smells like dog pee to me. And maybe it's like the people who either cilantro is a great herb or it tastes like soap. Maybe, maybe I only smell dog pee. So I was able to use half of it and then I just couldn't muscle through the rest. I couldn't, I couldn't, I have to get rid of it. I finished an entire Uber Youth Super Eye Energy Peptide Infusion Cream from Beauty Pie. It's really a long and involved. I really liked this eye cream, enough so that I just opened my second jar of it. This is something that I finished just this week and I was glad that I knew it was getting low and when I made my last Beauty Pie order, I ordered another one of these. I think that for the price, if you're a Beauty Pie member, this is a great hydrating eye cream. It's not too hydrating that you'll end up with like smeary eyeliner or mascara or product that like your concealer won't set because it's too hydrated down there. I feel like it's just enough, not too much. And at the Beauty Pie membership price, it's definitely worth it. I finished an entire Laneige lip sleeping mask. I love the apple lime. 
Oh, smells so good. I'm um, right now just opened a brand new one in grapefruit. Um, my kids love this too, and I should never have given them like their own jar for Christmas because now they're addicted and it's what, $25? <laughs> It's expensive, but it's totally worth it. I love it. It's so, so, so good. A couple of products I got from BoxyCharm. This is the Touch and Soul Glassy Pretty Filtered Glass Skin Balm. This was nice. It it was okay. It was a little too hydrating to wear under my makeup, and it made my makeup slip around, so I just started using it uh, as a body hydrator. That's how I finished it. And the same thing with this. This is from Bly. This is their Instant Glowing Cream for Makeup Ready Skin. It was a little too hydrating, especially in the summertime, and I could never get to the point where I could put it on and at the end of the day, it felt like either my makeup was completely gone or was in places where I didn't put it. So I finished using this on my arms and my legs and my hands. I went through a whole bottle of the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. I think this is version three, version four. They reformulate it every now and again, and I really feel like I have never come across a version of this that I haven't loved. Um, I like the one that was the Moist Essence. I like the one that was before that. I forget what they were called, but this one here is the Pro Ferment. This is amazing. Every single version of this, since they started launching it, I think more than a decade ago, has fermented yeast in it, which is the main ingredient in the SK2, like, serum <laughs> that's like a hundred and some odd dollars this is like 50 bucks but i always tend to get this when it's on sale misha frequently has a 20 percent off a 40 percent off sometimes even a 50 or 60 percent off and that's when i buy these i do have another one of these waiting in the wings this is definitely a product that i've forgotten how much i loved that i'm glad to have back i always decant it into a spray bottle and i just spray it on because it's easier to do that than to kind of do this you know pat it between my hands because it's basically water it's that same consistency of water and then tap it into my skin but if i just spray it from a spray bottle i can get from here to like my decollete my neck and i really feel like it's a great first layer straight out of the shower or when I wash my face at the end of the day. I did actually finish some makeup items. <gasps> I love the M Cosmetics Illustrative Liner. This one's in brown. I already have another one. Where is it? Here's my new one. Um, and I do have a box of this, like a backup. <laughs> I don't want to be without this. This is the product that I was sure it was past the point of wearing eyeliner successfully now that I was in my 40s and my eyes are watering and it like destroys all of my eyeliner. Not this, I love so, so much. And I needed a new one, so I bought a two pack, which is why I have one open and one waiting in the wings. I love this and brown is my perfect shade. I also finished up the Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This was the first time I was trying it. I think it's a great formula. I do really like the wand. You can tell it's kind of rather goopy. It's definitely time to pitch it, but I feel like the wand was great because it's more of that traditional bristle as opposed to the rubber bristle. It gave me good definition, gave me volume, it gave me length. I liked it a lot. I don't know that I'm gonna repurchase it, I do feel like I like the ones from Lancome better. But this is a great mascara. I picked up this eyelash serum on Amazon. This is from V Beauty. This is their eyelash growth serum. I did use it for a long time on my eyelashes and I recently saw a video um, and I will have to link it for you below about why a dermatologist is it. Sam Ellis says she doesn't use eyelash serums on her eyes. And I was like, oh, that's a really good reason. So I stopped using it on my eyes, but I will tell you, I was using this also on my eyebrows. And this is the product, this, and I'm using a different one, but just any growth serum that you can use in your brows has brought back so much darkness and fullness to my brows that I don't have to always be penciling in or taking those little markers like from Anastasia Beverly Hills or from Milani or the one from NYX. I have a lot of brow markers. I'm able to just put a tinted brow gel through my eyebrows and get really nice, full, gorgeous brows and it's really low maintenance. It's worth it every night for me to put on a layer of whatever brow serum I'm using. I liked this one. I think I might get another one of these when I'm done with the one I have, but it's actually like, what, $25, $26? Totally worth it. I did finish a couple of lip products. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Lip Balm. You can't turn it up anymore, and I suppose I could dig it out, but I hate getting stuff underneath my nails or using my fingers to apply something. So once I get to this point where you can't get any more out, I just stop. This is the one in Green Dragon. It's the original, super hydrating, really like this. I got this in a trio set 
at the holidays, I have two more that are tinted versions, one that's more berry, one that's more red. I really do like this, but I think it's like 17 or $18 individually. I don't know that I would repurchase it that way, but in a set where you can get multiples for like $25, $27, then it's worth it for me. I feel really bad about this. I didn't actually finish this product. It went through the wash. I put it in a jeans pocket and then I forgot to empty my jeans and I can't remember the last time I put a lip product to the wash. It's probably been a decade or more. And I always try to be really respectful of my makeup products, especially my lip products, because I don't want to lose anything to the washer or dryer. Thankfully, I found it before I went through the dryer because imagine it melting in the heat and then getting in all the clothes. Oh, that might have been the worst. But this is the Sheer Slick Lipstick from e.l.f. This is the shade Wild Peach. And it's at the point now where it's all crammed up into the cap and it's, it just came detached from the bottom and fell out from going through the wash. It, I don't want to use it. I'm going to have to let it go. It's not an expensive lipstick. It's $5 at the drugstore. I like the formula. I don't love Wild Peach as much as Black Cherry. Black Cherry is my favorite. And this is an amazing, almost spot on dupe for Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. But I love this. And I think the formula is really nice. If you find a shade, you will love. I use this all the time. I felt bad that this got put through the wash. It's very disrespectful to do to a lipstick, but I still am I'm sad, but not too sad because the color wasn't perfect for me. All right, there you go. Those are all of my empties. There's kind of a lot, way more than I expected. Obviously loving and keep purchasing the Missouri River soap bars. Those are great. Have more of this, have more of this. I need to get more of this, but I feel like there's a lot of great stuff here. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know what products you habitually finish, repurchase, and then finish again and buy again. Let me know in the comments down below, or if there's a product that you've tried recently that you're like, no, don't get it. I don't think it's worth it. Let me know that as well. Have an incredible day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon.